In this video, I will show you how to remove a section of the lower wall and make the stairway a little wider. So the first thing we will need to do will be to actually remove the wall. And um, you can move this wall or remove a section of the wall um, however far back you want to go. If you just want to go one step, whatever, this should work for um, any section of the stairway. And there it is. That's it for the video. Okay, maybe not. But for those of you who need the fast version, that's it. Um, you can um, simply put a few blocks in, cut them the right size, and you're done. How's that for the fast, uh, second fastest version? You wouldn't believe how many people I get that uh, want me to make my videos a little shorter. And that would require me to actually write a script for the videos. That's probably not going to happen, maybe in the future, who knows. But uh, anyway, this is about the easiest way I could think of to build this. And, um, you know, kind of self-explanatory here. The two by fours, you'll just simply start at one section of the stairway. You can start at the top or the bottom. And we will start at the top. So the first thing you're going to need to do would be just to simply nail a block on here. And this could be a full length stud. It's going to need to be an inch and a half lower than the top of the stringer so that you can put your plywood on top of it. So an inch and a half or the thickness, whatever the thickness is of the um, top board here you're going to use. So if you're going to use a one by for something like this, make sure this is three quarters of an inch lower. So I think you get the point here. And in this example, I'm simply going to have the front of this two by four line up with the riser so that it will create a riser for me. Uh, but this might not work depending on what type of uh, finish you're going to put on the stairway. If you're going to carpet it, if you're going to put a handrail um, on here, something like that, you might actually need to remove the treads and risers and then um, have them go full length. And if that's the case, you will just simply move this back and have everything line up with the stringer. So the front of the 2x4 would be um, at even with the front of the stringer, not the front of the uh, riser. And then I got a little notch in here. You can, uh, you'll see here in a second where you can just use another one by or a two by something like this. You don't need to cut a notch in here if you don't want to. I just kind of put the notch in there. Um, so, and again, I understand that to cut a notch like this, you might not have the tools for it. And it is not necessary. Um, uh, you can use a block, like I said. And you are simply going to work your way down the stairway until you are done. And you can see here where it lines up with the front of this riser. And then uh, cut your pieces for the treads. Everything's looking nice and even there. And you are done. Now, for those of you who do not want to cut the notch, this is kind of just what I'm talking about. You could use a piece of uh, OSB, the um, plywood. You could use a scrap piece of wood. It can go all the way to the ground. Screw it in. You can nail it in. Just something to prevent this from um, settling down. And part of that, you could actually, let me just kind of turn in here. You could eliminate this board and then just nail in from the back. That might work just fine. I would like to see something like this just to give you a little more stability. But uh, you could just simply drive a nail in from the back of this side or a screw and uh, screw it into the block here to um, uh, have everything work. And of course, you could always um, take these two pieces and lay them down on the floor and then um, attach them. You could use some screws to or nails to um, fasten it together and then take these two pieces and set them in place in case you don't have enough room to get to the um, power drill or the uh, 
screwdriver, whatever you're going to use to install the screw or the nail or even to hammer it in. If you don't have enough room, that might uh, help you out there. And in our second example, you can use a stringer. I just think this is going to be a little harder to do, but not uh, it's not impossible. You know, figuring out how to cut the stringer, I got plenty of videos on that. Um, in some cases, you might be able to just simply put a board up against here and trace the stringer. And I'm pretty sure I even have some videos on that. Head to the website. And if I find them, I will put a link here so you don't have to look for them. But if not, head to the website and probably going to be in the stringer section um, or in the stair repair area. So something like this is uh, going to require two stringers. And um, you can see here where they are even with the other stringer. Everything lines up so that you can attach your new risers and uh, treads. And that is it. So that's it for the video. Hope it helps. If it does, hit the old thumbs up button. And